to just vibey vibes welcome let's talk about love island tonight episode and the whole thing the whole thing started with after katrine and scott were done kissing and then they went out he went to talk to the guys she went to talk to the girls they were cheesing katrine was trying to be like i'm not gonna show how excited i am I'm not gonna show her excited I am because she was trying so hard, but you see that she was struggling not to not to be smiling and he was cheesing too. So I do like that. Although now in this Love Island, honestly, Love Island has become expected unexpected. You know that Love Island you don't expect the unexpected, but this is giving me big brother twist. It's giving me like the kind of twist that these people are doing is actually kind of like what producers will put together. So it's like each and every one of them are just mini producers because they're giving us a show. Are they giving us a show, man? They are giving us a show. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, Ty then decided to be an interviewer. How do you feel about um, Catherine and Scott kissing Montel? How do you feel, Leah? Leah's like, oh, that's the first time I'm hearing about him. I don't want her to cry because she did really like Scott. I think she felt mugged off because obviously he just had a chat with her. And all of a sudden, I don't understand that. I did say it last time. I did not understand why he did that. Like he had a chat with her saying that he's still open to getting to know her. And then, but he's more leaning towards Catherine. And then he went and kissed Catherine. Then why is he still open to get to know her? Like that was just a muggy thing. But maybe there's something that happened in between there that they didn't show us. And then he never ever ever game that was also given. So uh, Medi has been with his teacher. Like he he might say he did some naughty things and then he realized that she was in a relationship. What I want to know is that when he said teacher, was it like a lecturer? How old were you and how old was this teacher of yours? Because I really need to know. And then Scott and Ty has been in threesomes. Yeah, that does not seem like Sky and uh, Ty has been with both two guys and one girl and two girls and one boy blah blah i expected him to be 100 plus body count is not a joke and then scott yeah things like that happen and then medi too has been with someone over the age of 40 which is 40 years old age is just a number according to him he taught us some things okay that guy is really full of himself or we shall see i don't know is it that the camera hates him or in real life he does have his instagram face because we need to know that <laughs> And then people that have been two-faced was only me. Nobody at first drank. Then me did that he stuck behind people's back. And then Mehdi also did. And then Zach was and me. They were all on. Oh, everybody, this is an opportunity. Because Zach was when I say for everybody to, to face off. I beg Uncle be coming down. What do you want them to say? Like, everybody talks behind everybody's back. That's, you guys are living. You do that. So I don't want you, Seth, you do that. Everybody does that. Why do you not drink? Please. And then never have I ever cheated. Montel and Zach both drank, but everybody was more shocked on Zach, and I did not understand why. I understand why Mitch did not drink. Was it not Mitch that was playing three girls at the same time from the beginning? So why did he not drink also? And then uh, Zach was talking. It made sense, like okay, he's in the past, but he said he does not regret it. Like I don't understand. Like I don't really believe in regret like that. But at the same time, you should. If now you feel like okay, that was the wrong thing to do, then you should feel bad that he did that to people. Although he said none of them knew it. And then I was just surprised on how okay, Jess first of all say once a cheetah always a cheetah, and the Ella reiterated and they just kept it on and on. I felt like they were too harsh on him. All he did was cheat before. So what? All of you, you know what I mean? Like, what is this big deal about? Like, I don't understand. At the end of the day, I do understand that cheating is bad. I'm not saying that cheating is good. Now nah, I'm not saying that. But I don't believe once a cheat always a cheat. There's some people that will always be a cheat, but people change. Most people that are monogamous, um, monogamous. <laughs> most people that are monogamous, <laughs> ah, most people that are monogamous, they were cheats before. Sometimes even the guys that have been cheats and all of that, they're even the best people to end up with because they have seen everything in life and when they're focused on you, they're focused on you, nothing faces them. Why the ones that have never, one small one, one girl just do something to them, they've never seen it before, their head is blown. So that at least that's what people say. After that time, I spoke with Ella, which I liked. You check your, your girl or your man in private. You don't check them in public. You support them in public. Like, Ty, how much old of you? Like, can I give him, like, you know, a round of applause? He really did very well because that's how to be in a relationship for those that don't know. So anyway, he spoke to Ella. Ella went to uh, call Zach just to apologize to have him because she was feeling the kind of way because she's been cheated on. So it was not meant on him. It was just like he brought out an emotion in her because she has been cheated on. And then she explained that to him. That was cool. And then Mitch decided to have a conversation. Now, at first, I thought Ella was mad when I saw the preview at Mitch because Mitch said that they should not be had 
on Zach in that place that Zach was being honest. That part I did not say anything wrong with that, but him not saying that oh they're doing that to make uh Molly feel a kind of way and I cares about Zach and Molly. I beg me to explain to me, is it the same care that you cared the last time that you saved Molly? Is that the same care? Because at this rate, I don't understand. I care, I care, I care. We've seen us that don't care. Please be coming down. That was just so shit. Like he was he was projecting because that's how he feels. That's what he would like to do. He would like Molly to actually have doubts. He would like that. He's still pining, but he knows that there's no point for him to pine. That's what's happening. Anyway, Maddy went and met Leah and then started having a chat with her and told her that he's interested in her. And then she said, I didn't expect this from you because you just had a kiss with with me. And he said, uh, the moment she just mentioned kiss, he said, oh, I was confused for a minute. I'm like, so the kiss is confused. And then he says that she is articulate and, um, and all of that stuff. So I don't understand is with not articulate because there's a way he was saying it is given like he's telling her like he's comparing them and saying that this is what i like about you that i don't like about whitney but whitney is very articulate whitney is very calm spoken she doesn't even get mad and people that don't get mad those are the ones that she even be scared of and for me it's just like what and then i think he told the guys i just sacked her i thought i had that like honestly i just didn't want to go back to the room but i thought i had that i just sacked her but then he's not calling Whitney, speaking to okay, he called Whitney over to spoke to her and told her that he's interested in Leah. And Whitney was shocked. Everybody was shocked because he has never spoken to Leah in that way. they they I think Whitney has been close up. I've said it before. Honestly, maybe I need to start you roll back on my tapes. I've said it that Whitney likes him. I don't know if he likes Whitney, but I know that Whitney likes him. Now you guys can see that Whitney is feeling him. It's not even a safety thing. But now I feel like now this one that she just played, that's the way you play the game. When someone comes that she likes. Because a girl is coming now, she cannot be doing anyhow. Now that's smart. When someone else comes that she likes, hopefully, she leaves that, like dump him like hot potato. Or just wait to cast out more and bring back somebody. Because honestly, I don't have time for this. And then Whitney saying, I'm single and trying to talk to... Uh, I feel like Whitney does something sometimes to, be uncomfortable, to make people uncomfortable. Because I don't understand. Was she really trying to get um, to talk to Montel? She was just trying to... You know, like sometimes when you're sad because she didn't cry. Because some people are not criers. People are not criers. They let out their emotions in a different way. So I feel like she was just doing that, like making a jest of everything. But it's and like putting him on the spot, trying to make him uncomfortable. Because if you really want him to switch, you just have to be his friend. And then maybe if he sees that there's something between the both of you, then you can switch. But it doesn't. You don't just switch like that, obviously. And then um, I do like uh, Scott before I forget. You know when uh, Whitney went to him the next day and he was talking and he's like, "Don't worry about that. Leah is not even interested in him." He's gonna come back and Whitney is like, how oh, then when he comes out like why do they not want to? Whitney, play your game the way you're playing it. Stay with him. I'm just happy they did not ask us to vote because I would hate to vote for you and Medi, but I would have had to vote for you and Medi because I like you. I want you to be there. But please just play your game. When a girl actually comes next time the dumping, I think boys will choose one girl will go home. Then the next time when they when they you guys can recover, when they'll bring guys in. Hopefully they bring someone or his cousin or something like that that you can actually get somebody for yourself. I would really, really like that. Now, uh, Zach and Molly's date. It was fun. It was really, really fun. I like them. But their conversation is still the same. They don't conversate nothing deep. Like, okay, where do you live? Where are you going to live? Like, they don't conversate anything that gives me future. Not that they give me future. I feel like, honestly, they like each other. I know everyone can say whatever. They just like each other. They, it's like they just stare at each other and be smiling and be saying the same conversation over and over again. And to them, they don't even see that they're not saying nothing deep. It's just all surface. I feel like sometimes maybe they should go to the boom boom room and get it done and over with and see if they actually really like each other because it might just be sexual tension. Um, now why was Jess crying when uh Ma was chatting with Sammy? Like I do not even get it. Like the whole thing is confusing. Like the girl just cries anyhow. Like why are you crying? And then Ma was not saying that she's dreaming of Sammy. Hey, that whole thing. Imagine she had it; it would have been over. It's kind of like why was she crying for? Why exactly? Like, oh, you're trying to be the victim so bad. It's just so annoying. Like, this guy does not really like you. I don't know if you don't see it, but somehow, I kind of hope they go cast out more, come back. I don't know, because I feel like they can recouple. After this recoupling, they can recouple. So we'll see how that goes. The new girl coming in, that girl is fine. When I saw her walking, I'm like, is this Maya Gemma coming in? Because the hips and all that. When they show the face, I'm like, but the girl is fine. She is fine. So we shall see. There is... There will be trouble in paradise, but I know that she's not going to lie, Medi, so we're good. <laughs> At least Whitney uh, will still be there. Now, let's guess who is going to go home. 
True, I don't know. Uh -huh. When Medi and Leah was talking first before the recoupling, and Medi was saying that, oh, he does not want to feel pressured, and Leah was saying, oh, I don't like people pressuring me. God, please, that's why I said I put everything in. You were trying to pressure Ty. Did you forget? Oh, God. I can't stand when people are just hypocrites. Anyway, recoupling, Montez chose Leah. There was no, honestly, there was nothing about the recoupling that I was not expecting. There was no surprises there. Because Whitney was going to choose Medi. Who would she choose? If she's another person, she's breaking up with potential. The whole villa is going to go against her. It's going to be, oh, a whole thing. Like, nah, 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 there's no point. So stick with him for now. Until, like I said. So that was that for tonight's episode. I cannot wait for the new girl to come in. I'm telling you, the whole thing is just like, ah, this Love Island there. The cast of the Love Island they are producing. That's all I'm going to say. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.